guys so today is part two of our explore your town video and today we are in mr joe's new purchase here he, he got himself a car and uh we are driving down downtown lake zurich so that's the pierus right there they make some solid food mom you got my favorite place if you want some ice cream um, over here we have offbeat a nice little music shop in downtown and we're coming up on the lake here and here is the lake from the promenade like a good day to fish to me. So I guess maybe we're gonna get out of the car and look around. We're here at the promenade. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been here before, but it's right off of Main Street. It's got a nice little view of the lake. Looks like there's a guy scuba diving right there. The water, I don't know if you can see this, it looks super clear. Like Mr. Kevin was saying, it would be a good day for fishing. So I don't know if you guys want to ever try fishing out here, but I know Mr. Kevin's tried it a couple times and caught a good amount of decent fish. And then we're about to go to our next spot. So this is Griswold Park. This is right near the heart of downtown. It has a beach access, it's not in quarantine. There is a, usually a park. Usually a park, but it looks like they took it down. Um, there is a little pavilion that we are under right now. There's some bathrooms. There's a path that you can walk around the lake as well. And a bunch of picnic tables, so you can come out here enjoy the sun and nice weather in the summer. All right guys, we're here at Paulus. Um, some of you guys might remember this from the fishing video we did. This is where Lake Zurich has their summer camp. I'm not sure if that's going on this year. But there's a lot to do here. The July fireworks are here and they usually have farmer's markets during the summer and stuff here. What's uh, that smell? It smells so good. Oh, I think Kevin is wondering why they're cooking food here now because he's starving and whenever he comes here, it's never open. How are they? Probably great. Kevin is very disappointed. There's the beach volleyball over there, some pavilions, the spray park, and then the beach, which looks like it's closed for the season. 